Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo. Over there, we have John Lewandowski. Hey. All right. So today we are on video number three regarding the Rangers and Capitals. This is the fallout and final video I will be doing of this. Unless there's more next season, which I hope not. Let's not do this again. All right. So long story short. Pavel Buchnevich took a slash at uh, Vanacek. Vanacek, uh, Wilson took exception to that. Beat the heck out of him. Panarin came in. Wilson hit him so hard he went down, cracked his head without his helmet off the ice. He is out with a concussion. Okay. Yeah. Wilson had reached out. That was not local news until after the game. But right. Wilson had reached out to Panarin and apologized. Um, which is what got him out of being suspended. Right. He did not mean to do it. So with that being said, stop labeling him as a bad guy in all of this. Now, Buchnevich then cross-checked Anthony Mantha to the face, as well as the Rangers team did injure Wilson in that process of getting revenge. Not only that, hurt four other Washington Capitals players. With right. that being said, that is dirty hockey. That is not something that is needed in this league where skill is overmatched by brute strength. Right. Brute strength right. is no, important. No, there's no place for it. Um, fighting is important in hockey. Brute strength is important yeah. in hockey, but it is not this way. There is a way no. you go about it. There's a code of conduct and a code of ethics that a hockey player must follow at all times. Right. You are not only responsible for yourself, but the other six guys on the ice. There are six guys on the ice for your team at any time. You are, even if you're on the bench, you are responsible for those guys. Right. Their health, their well being. If you make a mistake and hurt somebody, that is on you. Yeah. All right. With that being said, there's a lot that's gone on. Buchnevich for the hit on Anthony Manta was suspended for one game. And find three thousand dollars. Meh. Yep. It's less than I would have given him. But then again, I would have suspended Tom Wilson for the one game to keep this from happening in the first place. Right. But you know, that's what the fallout of all this was. The Rangers got fined two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Butchnevich got yep. suspended a hundred and forty one penalty minutes. A lot of players hurt, and some uh, a game that took almost four hours to complete because of all the penalties. Right. You know, as much as I'm a fan of old school hockey, I am not a fan of how this went down. If if this were under normal season, this would have never happened. Right. They would never have played back to back like this. And this is something um, on an, on a year like this, you could have suspended him, gave him no fine, and let him walk. But you find him and let him walk, and now you got guys hurt. And this right. may hurt the, the, the playoffs. Yeah, mine. So with all that being said, I went poof. The force is with me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, with all that being said, uh, we are we our general consensus of this, and me and John talked about this a bit on the phone over the last couple of days, was that yeah. this was not needed, this was unnecessary, yeah. and the only thing that could have fixed this is the Tom Wilson suspension. Now, yeah, the Rangers' comment was not necessary, nor were their actions on the ice in the Correct. same day. Um. So with that being said, I I, I just – look, and to Rangers fans, if you feel like I'm bashing you, I'm not bashing the fan base. I'm glad bashing the actions. The actions yeah. were not necessary. Look, I'm not saying what Wilson did is right. Right. Because it was wrong. But at least he made the effort to apologize and, and admit he was wrong. And to any man out there, the hardest thing for us to do is to admit we're wrong, especially as athletes. 
Yeah. The, it is really tough to admit as an athlete you are wrong. You had you always have to go with your gut and believe you made the right decision. For him to right. make that call to Panarin and say he was wrong and, and apologize, that's a big step. And Wilson has a lot of skill. He's not just brute strength. So for those of you, oh, he's just a goon, he's just a goon. Uh, the last three years, he's finished in the top five in points for the Capitals. So yeah. as far as forwards go. Um, mostly behind Backstrom, Ovechkin, Kuznetsov, and Oshi. <laughs> uh, defensemen, I leave them out of that one. I said forwards so that I don't. Because then he's around the 6 7 mark. But to be in the top 10 on any team as a guy who's known as a tough guy, oh, you got to have a little bit of skill. Right. And And, and with that being said, that's all I got. I mean, uh, John, if there's anything you want to add to that, be my guest. No, no. I, I mean, we agree. I mean, none of it was warranted or called for. It was all excessive. And let's just hope we don't have another situation like, like this happen anytime soon. You know, um, I, I I have this this gut feeling that it may in the playoffs – but that's common thread for the playoffs. If somebody right. big gets hurt, you're going to see reaction, retaliation. And it's no. not like they're going to go playing somebody else the next night. You, you got to right. you gotta lace them up and skate against those guys in, in the next couple of days again. So um, with that being said, it, 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 we'll see what happens in the playoffs. Um, we'll talk to you guys later. We'll, uh, John, we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Um, me is to be determined but uh see y'all later